The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes to do personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups. First for Mohawk, at guard, number 15, Zach Blackston. At guard, number 5, Mark Buck. At center, number 23, Cam McCookie. At forward, number 12, Josh Willis. And at forward, number 20, Alex Button. Mohawk is coached by Fred Renniker. Now for Frontier, at guard, number 23, Paul Decker. At guard, number 10, Peter Wotroba. At center, number 21, Andy Karras. At forward, number 15, Ryan Moore. And in forward, number 14, Justin Mitchkowski. I think I'm pretty good. How about you? Can you hear me? All right. Hey, we'll go live. You ready to go live? Huh? Hello, we're here at Frontier Regional High School where Frontier meets Mohawk. It'll be a good game tonight. Frontier is coached by Ben Barshevsky, assistant coach Joe Costello and Colin Hosley. And the Mohawk head coach is Fred Redeker and Darren Schmidt. Josh Miskowski goes up for the ball. Paul Decker with the ball. with the foul shots. Missed the first one, but he does not get the second. Mohawk with the ball. Mohawk number 15, Flaxman with the ball. Number 20 goes up for a two, but he's blocked. Paul Decker with the ball, number 23 for Frontier, he's a junior. He tries to pass it to Justin Michkowski, but Justin Michkowski couldn't get to it. Peter Latrova goes in to save it from half court, couldn't get there in time. 
Mohawk starts with the ball out of bounds. Number 12 called for a travel on Mohawk. Uh, Paul Decker with the ball. Paul Decker looking for somebody to pass to. Finds Danny Kiris. Danny Kiris shoots up, does not make it. Rebounded by Mohawk. Number 15 is taking it down the court. And he gives it to number 23, who goes for a two, but it's no good. Ryan Hoare with the nice stuff there. It's white ball. Paul Decker takes it down the court. Peter with trouble with the ball. Gives to Ryan Hoare. Ryan Hoare lays it up two. for the two. Paul Decker playing some nice defense there. Number 15 on Mohawk was called for a hold. Oh, um, white for Paul oh. Decker, number 23. Oh, it was called on Paul Decker, okay. Took too long outside. Peter Wachoba starts with the ball. Paul Decker moves it down the court. Not much movement here tonight. Definitely should see a lot more of that. The energy is quite dull right now compared to most games. They go up for the three but does not make it. Mohawk comes down with it. Ball out on Mohawk. Number five goes to pass the 15. Bad pass, white ball. Mitch Kowski finds. Decker. Yep. Peter Trouble goes up for the ball. Nice snag. Ryan Hoare finds Just Mitchkowski, who does not make the shot. Mohawks, number 15, takes it down the court. He's going to give it to number 23. He finds number 12, who goes for a layup. Ryan he could Hoare. not make it. Ryan Hoare comes down with it. Paul Decker <laughs> takes it down. Nice pick set by Ryan Hoare. Ball passed right back to Ryan Hoare. Goes for the three, but he does not get it. Mohawks number 15. Again, takes it down the court, and he finds number five. Mohawks number 12 with the ball now. Gives it to 15 for a layup. But... Paul Decker is called for the shove there. Number 23 for Frontier. 15 gets two shots. First shot is no good. <coughs> the second shot. It's cleared. That was by number 15 for Mohawk. Ryan, Ryan Hoare has, has the, ball. the ball. Goes to the layup and he makes it. Number He's 15 got for Mohawk. Oh. Number 15 for Mohawk takes down the court. Score is now four to run, four to one Frontier. Ryan Hoare with all the points for Frontier. Mohawks looking for an opening. It looks like they almost found one. Number 23 found a hole. That was weird. Ryan Hoare uh, came and actually hit the ball out. Knocked out of the guy's hand and just happened to make it to another Mohawk player who's right for the shot there. Peter Atroba finds Justin Michkowski. Trying to make something happen. He goes up for the shot. Total overshot there. 15 comes down with it. 
15 finds number 12 who goes for a layup, but it's too quick. Tyler Bakunka rushing it a little bit too much. Call for travel, Danny Kiris, number 21, Mohawk ball. Mohawks number 20, Alex Bunton will take it in from outside. Substitution there, Danny Kiris goes out and Ross Keller comes in. So it's 21 goes out and 32 comes in. 15 on Mohawk has the ball. Tyler Pekunka, number 22, called for the hold there. Number 20 is going to take it in from behind Frontiers lines. Number 15 does not make his three from outside. Tyler Pekunka gives it to uh, Justin Mikskowski who gives it to Peter Wotroba. Oh, Tyler Pekunka actually catching off the face there. Ryan Hoare pushes to the hoop, he does not make it. Almost gets his own rebound, but 23 comes down with it. Number 15 for Mohawk will take it down the court. He gives it to number 23, who makes a two, makes a layup for two. Who is that, 23? Yes, 23. So that's Cal Mik Mikaki. He's a senior. He's got four points for the night. To score four to five, Mohawk. Just Miskowski tries for a three. It's a little high. Two minutes, 30 seconds left in this game. Scores four to five, Mohawk. Tyler Pekunka goes for the shot. A nice layup there. Tyler Pekunka, number 22, goes up for two. Mohawk's number 15 is going to take it down the court. This is my favorite uh, uh, stands cheer. And they have, whenever they bounce the ball, the fans yell boink. Whenever they pass the ball, they yell pass and shot, yell shot. Pretty simple, but gets in the head pretty good. Tyler Pekunka finds Peter with trouble, but Peter with trouble makes a nice move and layup there. That's Mohawks. The, that's the junior, number 10. His Mohawks, first points of the night. 15 has the ball. 13 is looking for an opening. Ross he Keller playing some nice defense there. Justin Mitchkowski is called for the foul. It's number 14. Called for the foul on number five. <clears throat> Looks like he gets two here. The first shot is good. And he makes the second shot. That's a sophomore, Mark Buck, number five, his first points of the night. Tyler Pekunka gives it to Peter Wotroba, who goes, oh, he gives it Brad to Chibli for the Brad. shot, undershot there. Number 11 for Mohawk takes it down the court. He finds number 20. Goes for a two, but it's a little undershot. Kind of just totally threw it up there. Didn't really look like much of a shot. Mohawk came back down with the ball. Number five was fouled. Mohawk gets the ball back again. Mohawk's number 11 has the ball. Uh, didn't really see what happened there. Another total throw up shot there. Not too much precision on this Mohawk team, it looks like. Kind of just throwing the ball around. With 54 seconds left in this game, the score is 8-7 to seven Frontier. 54 left in the quarter, not the game. Oh, yeah, my bad. Not <laughs> in the quarter, the game. <clears throat> Kellogg catches the ball, didn't really expect to get it there, it looks like. Goes up for the shot, but he doesn't make it, and the five comes down with it. Oh, number 13 on Mohawk. Gets a quick pass in. 
and he's able to make a layup. That's Ryan Spitz, Spitzer, sophomore. His first points of the night. Looks like you got a pretty uh, young Mohawk team here. Yeah, even a freshman on the varsity team. Yeah. Uh, is that Colin Hickey? No, it's um, Quinn Hickey, the junior. It's fouled there. Gets two shots. It's number 20 for Frontier. He makes the first. Misses a second. 23 from Mohawk is able to get the rebound. 23 just about nearly stepped out of bounds on that one. Almost gave it right back to Frontier. Number 13 on Mohawk finds 20. Another throw, total throw there. But also another total throw by Frontier. I think that was Brad Tremblay trying to find Justin Miskowski. Justin Miskowski, total overthrow. Mohawk gets the ball back. They're gonna let. Oh, that was quite short. So at the end of the quarter, the score is nine to nine. It's a high game. We'll be back at the start of the second quarter. So we're back, start of the second quarter. Score nine to nine, tie game. Mohawk starts with the ball, number 11. Proceeds down the court. Number five, looking for something, goes up. Does not get there. 23 goes to the shot and he makes it. That's Cam McCuckey, that's his sixth point of the night. Mohawk leads by two. Colin Hickey called for traveling there. Or Quinn Hickey, sorry. Colin Hickey's his brother. Mohawk's number 11. Gives the ball to number five, who gets to 23. He finds 11, who finds five again. Oh, looks like 23 just threw the ball out of bounds right there. Danny Kiris knocked the ball out, 23's hand. It's now Mohawk ball. And Peter Troba comes in for Justin Mitchkowski, so that's number 10 comes in for number 14. Danny Kiris playing some nice defense there. Pass it to Peter Troba. Peter Troba goes up for it, he makes it. That's another two for Frontier, which leaves us at 11-11. That's four for Peter Troba tonight. Number 11 is going to take it down the court. 23, looks for an opening, finds 11. Back to 23. Over to 5, who goes for a layup, and that's good. Number 5 is Mark Buck. Number 5, the sophomore. He has four points on the night. Peter, or er, Tyler Pekunka finds Danny Kiris. Danny Kiris pushes up, and he is called for travel there. No points. <clears throat> Mohawks number 11 with the ball. 
Number 11 called for traveling. Peter Wachoba is going to take it in from outside. Gives it to Tyler Pekunka. Danny Kiris goes up. Does not make it, but Reinhardt com comes down with it. No, he does not. Mohawk has the ball. Pretty sure that was double dribble there, but I don't know. Mohawk's number 13 has the ball. Ryan Hoare playing some nice defense. Swap the ball out, but it happens to go out of bounds, so it's still Mohawk ball. Two substitutions here for Mohawk. Number 20 comes in for 13. Number 15 comes in for 11. <laughs> Mohawk's 23 has the ball. He gets it to 15. He's going to go for a layup, but he gets blocked by Ryan Hoare. I don't know if I agree with that. Looks like some offensive uh, foul there. He's pushing kind of hard. Ryan Hoare's got to stand his ground, if you ask me. So number 15, Zach Flaxman goes makes up. His first and he throw. Makes his first. He's got two for the night. Let's see if he can make it three. Ryan really didn't really block him. He just stood there and crashed into him. He doesn't make it, and Ryan Hoare comes down with it. Nice rebound, Ryan Hoare. With five minutes, 40 seconds left in the half. Score 11, 14. Peter Wachoba goes up for a two there, but he gets fouled. Looks like he's going to have two. Makes, makes the first, first one. Day. It's five for the night. Peter Ochoa. We got <coughs> three substitutions, it looks like, coming in here. Two substitutions coming in. Ryan Hoare comes down with it. Danny Kiris comes down with it. And Danny Kiris is fouled. Good rebound there by Ryan Hoare. Go, takes a shot, does not make it. And then nice rebound by Danny Kiris. And then he is fouled, so he gets two here. This is his first throw. Goes up. Second throw is no good. Does not make it. Peter Wachoba almost comes down with it. Gets behind him. Mohawk number 20 comes down with it. Mohawks number five, takes the ball, gives it to 15. Almost fell over there. He's gonna go up for a two. That was no good. Ryan Hoare comes down with it. Nate Perez got the ball. Paul Decker goes up for it, a nice layup there. So that is another two for Paul Decker, leaving the game at a tie again at 14 up. Number 15 slips. Uh, I think number 20 was fouled by number 10, Peter Wachoba. Reaching for, in for the ball here. I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, if you're just going for the ball. Well, it looks like he reached from behind him. Number 20, Alex Bunton. Gets his first points of the night. His Danny second Kyrus comes no down good. with it. Nate Barrett. Nice Paul Decker. Some shifty moves there. Back to Nate Barrett. Nate Barrett goes up for the shot. He is fouled. He gets two. Fouled by number 15 for a push there. Makes 
to first. Very casually, I must say. That was nice. Those are his first points of the night. Or his first point of the night so far. He's a senior. I believe he's one of the captains for the team. And he doesn't make his second, but Ryan Hort comes down with it. Finds Paul Decker. Eight per for three. Does not make it. Well, Paul comes down with it. This leaves us at yet another tie. 15 each. With four minutes, 20 oh. seconds left in this game. Score 15-15. Mohawk called for a carry there. Frontier gets the ball back. Justin Michkowski starting out of bounds. Nate hey, Perret bounces the ball off of number 15. Michkowski back to Nate Perrette for three. Doesn't make it. Justin Michkowski, nice shot there. That's number 14, Justin Michkowski, the senior. He is also a captain tonight. He gets on the board for tonight. Mohawks number 15, Flexman. Tries to find an opening. Nate Perrette played some nice defense there, not giving him anything. Mohawks number five. He's gonna go up. Oh. Number 13 takes the shot, doesn't make it. 12 takes the shot. And Ross Kellogg, number 32, comes down with it. Nate Perret has the ball, he's gonna slow down here. Take his time, let the offense set up. Paul Decker for three, doesn't make, doesn't quite get it. Frontier almost gets the rebound, Mohawk comes down with it. Oh. Don't know what that was. Ryan Hoek comes up with it. Makes a nice layup there. Good defense, Ryan Hoare. He's got six on the night. Junior. Looks like number 15 was just looking for some foul shots there. Mohawks 13 has the ball. Tries to pass number 20, but it's a little low. Timeout, Mohawk. So with two minutes, 41 seconds left in the game, or in the half, I always say that, I apologize, left in the half, the score is 19 to 15, Frontier. This is a good matchup tonight. It's been pretty even back and forth. Tied for most of the game. Frontier just started to squeak ahead by a little bit, but they're not up by much. They're gonna have to come back with some intensity, but with still a good pace, not too fast. Set their offense, make some points. We'll be back at the timeout. We're back after the timeout. Frontier Good Now Gymnasium. Score 19-15, Frontier. For, Frontier, for the Frontier Red Hawks, Nate Perret takes it down the court. Justin Miskowski pushes up to the hoop. Overshot there. Ryan Hoare plays some nice defense. Shoots as he falls and loses the ball. Number 15 for Mohawk Flaxman. Seems to be one of the key defense players. Has the ball on the outside. Nice job, Ryan Hoare not letting him push into him at all. Good, strong defense there. Pays off. Paul Decker comes in and swipes it out. Oh, wow, that was close. Nice job, Paul Decker, getting to that ball. Justin Mitzkowski with a shot. Does not make it. Ross Kellogg almost comes down with it. But it goes out on Ross Kellogg. Mohawk ball. Flaxman takes it down the court for Mohawk. And 
13, is able to make three that's, points. That, that's Ryan, Ryan Spitzer. That's his fourth point of the night. He's a sophomore. He's a pretty big sophomore. Nice job there. There's a mishap with the pass, but Frontier stays with it. Justin Mitchkowski comes down with it again. Naparet still has the ball. Frontier playing some nice deep offense here. Very strong, strong offense with a lot of rebounds. That's what you need. Decker goes up for a two. It's no Does good. not make it, but Justin Mitchkowski comes down with it again. Good offense here, Frontier. Finally, Mohawk comes down with the rebound. <laughs> Mohawks Flaxman. Number the ball number 13 to 11. Goes for a two and it's good. That was a, whew, that was a lucky shot there. He's a junior. That's Dustin Brown. His first points of the night. But I saw number 12, I believe, for Mohawks set a pit on, pick on Nate Perrette. And I'm pretty sure that you're not able to move your feet when you set a pick. And he just about basically ran with Nate Perrette the entire way. Paul Decker goes for the three, doesn't make it. Ryan Hill goes up for the rebound, makes a nice rebound. Oh, that would be nice. So what happened there, uh, Ryan Hill made a nice rebound, ball swatted out. Mohawk gets it, passes it to their teammate. Nate Perret plays some nice defense there, picks the ball up, time ran out with the shot. So at the end of the half, the score is all tied up, 19-19. Here at Goodnow Gymnasium, Frontier Regional High School. We'll be right back from FCAT. So as the end of halftime dwindles down, but to start this second half right up. With the score 19 all here at Goodnow Gymnasium, Frontier Regional High School. Frontier Redhawks taking on the Mohawk Indians, Warriors, whatever they are. Warriors. The Mohawk Indians. I never understood that, why we couldn't be the Redskins, but they can be the Warriors. In the Turner's Falls can be the Indians, but we can't be the Redskins. Ah. Well, Redskins is sort of derogatory. Yeah, but when you have an when you have a uh, Indian himself, you know, actually a whole tribe actually write a letter to the town saying that it's okay. Pretty sure it's fine for them. They like to be represented. Just so much Kowski with a nice shot there. He gets two more for the night. He's on to four. Score now 21-19. Great way to start the half. Number 20 for Mohawk. Takes the ball, gives to number 23, 23, who is able to make a layup. He's got eight for the night. The senior, Cam McCunick. McCookie. I, I apologize. This is a hard name. <laughs> Nate Barrett. Pushes up to the hoot, takes a shot, does not get it, rebounded by Mohawk. Number 15, Flaxman takes it down the court as usual. And he's gonna give it to number 23. Number 23 is a pretty big, tall, lanky kid. That's Cam Makuki. Kind of another throw up shot there by Mohawk. They're rushing it, I feel like, a little bit too much. So they slow down and, ooh. Justin Mitchkowski goes for the pass to Ryan Hoare there, but ball is knocked out by Ryan Hoare. Looks like number 23 knocked it out, but referee called it blue ball. So obviously, Frontier gets the ball. Uh, Mohawks number 12. Mohawk Mohawks number 12 is going to throw the ball over to number five. 
he's going to give it right back to number 20. Justin Mitchkowski's played some great defense there, knocking the ball out. Ooh, number five goes in for it, but Justin Mitchkowski knocks behind the back. Nice move there. He goes for the shot, but does not make it. Mohawk comes down with it. Ryan Hoare knocks the ball out for number five, but number 20 comes back to it. <laughs> nice shot there by number 21. Is it, no, number 12. That is John Willis. He's a freshman. His first points of the night. Nate Brett with the ball. He's going to give it to Danny Kiris. Went for a layup, but it was no good. Looks like number 12 was, oh, yeah, it was a foul on Ryan Hoare there. Flexman's going to give it to number 20 on uh, Mohawk. 12. Goes for a two, but it's no good. Ball goes out uh, off of number five. Frontier gets the ball. Justin Mitchkowski takes it out and passes to Naparet. Naparet passes half court. Looking for somebody. Finds Paul Decker. A nice layup there, but does not come down with it. Ball is knocked out by number 23, Mohawk. Frontier ball. Justin Mitchkowski, Justin Mitchkowski looking for somebody finds Nate Perrette. Almost loses it there. Number five coming in nice. Nate Perrette with a nice spin there, but does not get it. He was called for, I think, number 15 foul in there. That was a nice spin move. It would have been nice if he got the layup too, but a little too far away. So Nate Perrette's going to have two shots. Does not make the first. Nate Perrette's a senior, one of the captains. He's got two points and one point for the night. He stays with one so far. Let's see if we can get some more for tonight. Flaxman's going to take it down the court for Mohawk. He's going to give it to number 23. Five ends up with the ball. Gives it back to Flaxman. Flaxman goes up. Oh, faked right there. Oh, and Ryan Horst stuffs number 12. He is also broadcasting this game, so if you don't want to listen to our beautiful voices, then feel free to just go over to Bear Country 95.3. Or if you happen to, Nate Pratt for the three doesn't get it. Justin Mitchkowski with the rebound makes his sixth point of the night. What I was going to say is, of course you obviously, Nate Perrette with a nice defensive play there. Goes up for two and he makes it. Nice job. He gets his third point of the night. Anyways, what I was trying to say is, of course you want to listen to our pretty voices, but in case you have to get in the car, maybe go for a drive, Bear Country 95.3 is broadcasting this. They're almost as good as us, I think. Almost. They got some years of practice. I got many years under my belt. Ryan Hork gets a weird rebound there. Wasn't really ready for it. Nate Perrette comes down with it. Ryan Hork goes up for the layup. Does not get there. Number 20 from Mohawk comes down with the rebound. <laughs> Flaxman takes it down the court. Ends up with the ball again. Nate Perrette played some nice defense again, knocking the ball out. Finds Paul Decker at the top of the arc. Justin Mitchkowski goes up and almost makes it, gets called for the foul. Excuse me, I don't know if I picked up on the microphone. Oh, I heard it. I had some burp issues there. Justin Mitchkowski is up for one, does not make it. Three subs in. Justin Mitchkowski has six oh, on subs. the night. Let's see if he can get it to seven. Hopefully get more later. And he does. He gets his seventh point of the night. Mohawks number three. He's going to take it down the court. It's Connor Maloney. 
Maloney. He's new, this is his first start of the night. He's a junior. Paul Decker played some nice defense there. Comes down with it. And the shot does not make it, but he gets it right back. Nice offense there. Peter Trouble goes for the three, does not get it. Justin Michkowski playing some nice rebound there. He gets the ball, stays inbounds, finds Peter Petrova. Peter Petrova goes up for the ball and is fouled. Some pretty intense action going on. 23 called with a shove there. I think he gets one shot. So we're back with two minutes, 48 seconds left in the game, or in the quarter. Scores 26-23, Frontier leads it. Peter Wittrobe is going to have two free throws. Peter Wittrobe, number 10, has five on the night. Now he's got six. Does not make it. Number 12 comes down with the rebound. Mohawks, number three, is going to take it in across the court. He was called for definite travel there. Slid about a foot and a half across the court. Cannot do that against the rules. Frontier ball. Paul Decker. Justin Miskowski finds Peter Wittroba. Peter's going to give it to Danny Karras. So the mix up of the ball there, and, front, er, and Mohawk comes down with it. Number five for Mohawk. He's going to take the ball. Frontier points a nice press defense here. Not let them think at all. Number 12 goes up for a two, and it's good. He, he was, was also fouled. called for a foul. Or no, yeah, he was fouled. That's number 12, John Willis, the freshman. He's got four on the night. He gets two shots here. Definitely some potential. This two, two substitutions. Ryan Hoare comes in for Danny Kira, so 15 comes in for 21. And Naparat comes in for Ryan, uh, for um, Decker, Paul Decker. So that's 14, or number four comes in for 23. 12 shot is no good. Ross Kellogg comes down with the rebound, but steps out of bounds, tip of his toes, hitting the line. Mohawk gets it. Throwing the ball. Mohawk's number 13. Looking for an opening. He finds number five. Nice job, Goes Ross up for Kellogg. Layup. Playing some nice defense there. Got in the way. Got the hand in the face. Mixed up a shot. Justin Michkowski finds Nate Perrette. Nate Perrette's looking for somebody. Ross Kellogg gets the ball. He gets passed to, but could not get a hold of it. Mohawk comes up with it. Number three has the ball. Nice pick set by 20 on Nate Perrette. Uh, it looks like a push was called. I'm not sure who against. Looks like against Mohawk. No, it was against Frontier. Penalty on Frontier. Mohawk gets the ball. Oh, that was an up and down right there. Almost didn't call it, took, him a, took the referee a second. What an up and down is, is you go up to shoot and you don't shoot and come back down, the other team gets the ball. That was weird. Number three lifted his leg up there, it looks like a total trip. But Nate Perrette just comes right back to answer with the three. That was nice there. Beautiful shot, nothing but net. Number three for Mohawk. Coming up with a trip, Nate, Nate Perrette answers but with, by himself with a three. Number 20 is going to try to make a shot in the last 20 seconds of this quarter. Ross, keeping it inbounds there, that was nice. 
With 10 have. seconds left in this game, or left in this quarter, sorry, I always say that, the score is 30 to 25. Frontier needs another shot here. Uh. Did not get any points there, so at the end of the quarter, the score is 30 to 25. Frontier. So make sure you guys tune in for more of FCAT on Channel 12. Be a lot of interviews, mainly on Thursdays, I believe. Some get some interviews through the local news. And there will always be some jamming music and also these sports games, obviously. So if you guys want to tune into those, catch up on your local sports, we're where it's at. Super fan group looking a little skimpy today, but not bad. It's good to see that there's always at least a little bit of a crowd at Frontier Regional High School. Good amount of fans. It's always better, I think. I think the, it gives the teams an advantage when they got the, the crowd behind them. And we have a pretty boisterous, boisterous crowd. So at the start of the quarter, score is 30 to 25. Frontier Mohawk starts with it out of bounds. Uh, Mohawk number three is going to take it down the court. Number 12 gives it to number five. He is getting pressed hard by Nate Parrott. Brian Hoare called for the push there. Mohawk starts out of bounds. Substitution. 23 comes in and number 12 comes out from Mohawk. Number 20 takes it in from outside. Number 3. Who gives it to number 13? Number 3 is going to go for a 2. That is no good. Paul Decker. Nice play there. Nate Perrette gets it. Goes for the shot. Nice shot. That, that is another two for Frontier, giving them a seven-point lead over Mohawk. That's Nate Perrette's fifth point of the night. He's doing a lot of good defense here. Number three goes up for the shot. Does not get there. Ryan Hoare with a good rebound. Keeps it in bounds. Paul Decker gets it. Justin Mitchkowski goes up for the shot. Does not make it. Frontier almost came down with it. Ball got knocked out of bounds, Mohawk ball. Substitution for Mohawk, number three comes out and number 15 comes in. Mohawk's number 15. Replacing number three is gonna take it down the court this time. Offensive foul there against Nate Perrette. Timeout, Mohawk. <clears throat> Six minutes and 52 seconds left in the game. Finally set it right for once. Uh, score is 32 to 25, Frontier. So we're back from the timeout. Six minutes, 52 seconds left <clears throat> in the game. Frontier comes back with their same five they left with. Justin Michkowski starts out of bounds. Has Nate Perrette, point guard, moving it down. 
Nate Perrette hands it off to number 14, uh, Michkowski. Michkowski for the shot, and he makes another two for tonight. That is Justin Michkowski's ninth point of the night. He leads both teams with most points so far. Next to him is Cam Mukiki. I'm so sorry, Mukiki for Mohawk. He has seven. Nate Perret lays this one into Justin Michkowski. He's looking for something. Finds Justin Michkowski. Another two for Justin Michkowski. Great offensive teamwork there. Ryan Hoare could not get it off to anybody. Justin Michkowski saw an opportunity, went up, nice pass, nice layup. Flaxman's gonna give it to number 23 on Mohawk. Who's gonna go up for a two? And it's good after a couple bounces on the hoop. It's number 23, Cam Mukiki. He's got 10 for the night. He's doing a great job for Mohawk tonight. He's got most points for their team. Ryan Hoare goes up for the shot, bounces straight off the rim, back to number 23 for Mohawk. Number 20 is gonna get the ball, give it to number 15. May Perrette, nice defense there. And he takes a nice casual layup. Nice job, May Perrette. <laughs> Great defense there by the senior captain. He's got seven points in the night. That's gonna give Frontier an 11 point lead over Mohawk with just over five minutes left in the game. Number nice five from stuff by 15, Ryan Hoare. And Justin Michkowski goes up for it. Does not make it, but Frontier almost comes down with it. 23, Cam Mukiki comes down with the ball. Number 15, Flaxman from Mohawk is going to take it down the court. Give it to number 23. And 22 goes for a layup, and he's stuffed again. Takes a shot. Looks like Justin Michkowski got mixed up with the arm and the ball there. He's fouled. Number 20, Alex Bunton, the junior, has two in the night. He gets two shots here. But doesn't make the first. We got a substitution here. Peter Trovo comes in for Nate Perrette. Nate Perrette played some great defense for the night. His Alex, second shot is good. The junior has tw uh, three for tonight, number 20. Paul Decker gives it to uh, Danny Kiris. Yeah. Nice job there. Paul or uh, Peter Vitrobo got stuck, found Danny Kiris. Danny Kiris with a nice layup there. He has, those are his first points of the night, the senior captain. Kitchkowski is what I meant to say. 20, 23 goes for a two. It's no out, good. Out on Mohawk. Frontier gets the ball. Peter Petrova starts out of bounds. Finds Justin Michkowski. Justin Michkowski passes it back to Peter. Looks like he wasn't expecting it. Almost dropped it there. Justin Michkowski tried to pass to Peter Petrova, but number 15 plays some nice defense. Goes up for the layup, but total choke there. Justin Michkowski working down the court, doing what he does best. Doesn't do it the best that time. <laughs> but Frontier comes back down with it. Ryan Hoare played some great, great offense there. Paul Decker just Easy as can be, makes another two. Those are his fourth point, that's his fourth point of the night. Mohawks number five. Gives it to 13 who goes for a three, but it's no good. Paul Decker come down, comes down with it, takes it across the court. Paul Decker has the ball. Finds Justin Michkowski, top of the arc. Peter Petroba moves to the hoop, doesn't get there. Run. Fortune cookie. I was just handed a fortune cookie. Total side moment there. Where did these come from? Mr. Murphy gave them to us. Mr. Right. Murphy, everyone. Round of applause. Ryan Hoare makes his first foul shot. So Ryan Hoare has seven for the night. Good cluster of points. And My fortune says I am ambitious. He makes his second shot. 
So he has eight points in the night. With three minutes and 15 seconds left in the game, scores 44 to 28, Frontier. Danny Kiris plays some nice defense. Nate Perret right in perfect position. Make, almost makes the layup. Peter Wachoba comes down with the item. Now, that was not a foul there. But I guess it wasn't. Number 23 comes down with it for Mohawk. 12 goes for a layup. Tosses it a little away from the hoop. He is called for, number 12 is called for offensive foul there <laughs> on, against Ryan Hoare. Or, yeah, Ryan Hoare. You are ambitious. Let's see what mine is. My fortune is you have great physical powers and iron constitution. It's true, everyone. It's true. I have great physical powers. My uh, daily numbers are 065, and my lotto six numbers are 5, 14, 21, 44, 33, or 42, 33, and 32. So if you guys were wondering, just wanted to let you know I have great physical powers and an iron constitution. Feel free to play those numbers in a lotto six. You'll probably win a couple million dollars. It looks like there's a timeout called. I believe by Mohawk, they're down. Scores 44 to 28, Frontier. Two minutes and 45 seconds left in the game. These are some delicious fortune cookies. I think vanilla flavored. Peter Wotroba, number 10 for Frontier, is going to take it in from outside. He gives it to Nate Perrette. Nate Perrette weaving. Finds Justin Michkowski, who does some weaving. Finds Danny Kiris, who finds Peter Wotroba, and Peter Wotroba just takes it. Does not make it, but Ryan Hoare with a nice rebound and a shot. That is his 10th point of the night. He is doing great. That is the junior, number 15. Ryan Hoare. <coughs> Number four called for a foul there, Nate Perrette. Mohawk ball. Frontier has nearly a 20 point lead over Mohawk right now. Mohawk takes it in from outside and he's able to get it to number 15 who makes two-point layup. <coughs> Zach Flaxman has, the senior has four for the night. Doing Danny a Kyrus job. gives it to Paul. Justin Paul Michkowski Peter. takes a shot, does not make it. Ryan Hoare with a nice rebound. Justin Michkowski gets another rebound. Ryan Hoare gets the rebound again, and he is fouled. Frontier starts, nope, nope. Ryan Hoare gets one, I believe. One shot. Nope, he gets two. Nope, no, he gets one. Thought so. Mohawk comes down with it. Mohawk's number 15, Flaxman. Took it down the court. He gave it to number five. He's going to go in for what looks like a layup, but he passes it over to number 20. Nice job by... Justin Michkowski looks there, knocking the ball out. Nate Perret has it, moving down the court. Looking for somebody. Ball gets knocked out. Number five comes out with the ball. Danny Kiris plays a nice defense, but he is called out of bounds on the line. I saw it from here, it's about a centimeter on that black line, but as soon as you touch that black line, you are considered out of bounds. It was a nice play by Danny Kiris too. Too bad, couldn't stay in bounds. Number five went up for a two. Wow, that was. It is that good, was, but he was called for a ooh, something. No, it was a penalty against him. He, number five comes down with the two. He has six, the sophomore, Mark Buck. I don't know if I agree with that. It looks like he took a bunch of steps. So there's a big substitution here. Four comes in and 
four go out for Frontier. Looks like it's getting about that time. Take all the starters out, get everybody else in, get some nice playing in. With one minute left in the game, we have Mohawk with two shots. Number five. One shot. A mistake. Makes his, makes his first point. Hickey throws the ball in from outside. He gives it to Pakunka. I think he was called for a travel there. Oh, nope. one five called number fifteen called for the shove there. Tyler Pakunka fouled upon. That's number twenty two. He is a junior. He has two points in the night. Let's see if he can get two more. Looks like he gets one shot here. Let's see if he gets one more. And he doesn't get it, but Frontier comes down with it. That's Josh Kennedy. But he has called for the travel. Didn't look like he took a step there. Oh, well. Flexman takes it, takes it down the court from Mohawk. Gives it to number 23. Back to Flaxman. He's going to go. Brad oh. Chumley comes down with it. Nice job. That was a good decision by Brad. He started a rush, and he decided to slow down, find his point guard. Let the offense work its magic. Quinn Hickey goes to pass to Josh Kennedy. He fumbles it a bit. Ball goes out. Three minutes, or er, with 37 seconds left in the game. Score is 46-33. Mohawk wants to win. They need to step up here, but it doesn't look like they will have enough time. Tyler Pakunka moves to the top half court. Finds Brad Tremblay. Brad Tremblay finds Quinn Hickey. Shoots for the three. He makes the three. That's his fourth, Quinn Hickey, the junior's fourth point of the night. Number 15 goes for a three. That was amazing. That was a deep three there. Wow. That was um, 15. That was... Number 22 looks like he's just trying to outplay that... the clock. Oh, five goes up for a two, and it's good with .3 seconds left on the clock. One, two. So that's Mark Buck has nine. With 0.3 seconds left in the game. Frontier with an 11 point lead. We'll see if Mohawk is going to be able to get up by 10 points in uh, 0.3 seconds. We'll see. Good work by Mark Buck, though, making his 10th point, point of the night. Last points. To end the game. Score 49 to 39, Frontier leads at 10. You saw it here on Frontier Community Access Television, Channel 12. I'm Ethan Blake. And I'm Trey Roy. We'll be right back with some interviews for you guys. So we're here with Ryan Hoare, the junior. You had 10 points on the night. Great game. Thank you. What was your uh, view of the game tonight? Um, we could have put up better numbers all around, but you know we played hard. We didn't, you know, we didn't execute, and that comes down to it. Um, but all in all, wins a win. Yeah, exactly. Nate Perrette played some nice defense there at the end he of the did. game. Um, what do you think about the rest of the season? How many more games you guys got? Uh, I think we got four or five games left. We got three real tough ones, so we got to be ready for it, but I think we got it. Yep. How are the playoffs looking? Playoffs, I'm not sure yet. I'm not looking that far ahead. Not looking that far. All right. Well, thanks. Have thank, a nice day. Thank you. Ethan Blake, Frontier Community Access Television. Ryan Hoare. Have a nice night, guys.